Hello children and welcome back. Thank you for watching my videos. As you know, we are doing poverty as a challenge MCQ for class 9th. This is part 2 and I have prepared total of 3 parts. I hope you have enjoyed the part 1 and you would love this one too. Let's begin with the part 2. A person is considered poor if his or her income level falls below a given maximum level necessary to full basic needs or minimum level necessary to fulfill the basic needs or both the options are correct or none of the above i think it's an easy one it's minimum level necessary to fulfill basic needs which two states of india continue to be the poorest states madhya pradesh and maharashtra odisha and bihar uttar pradesh and jharkhand or none of the above so if you've read the textbook it's odisha and bihar in latin america the ratio of poverty declined increased remained the same or none of the above answer to this children is remained the same number of poor in china has come down for dash million in 1989 to dash million in 2001 it's actually 606 million in 1989 to 212 million in 2001 so correct answer will be 606 to 212 which social group is most vulnerable to poverty in India. Scheduled tribes, casual laborers, scheduled castes or all of the above? Children answer is all of them. Which organization carries out survey for determining the poverty line? CSO, NSSO, Planning Commission or none of the above? Children answer for this is NSSO. I will just refer you with the textbook content also. So if you see these surveys are carried out by the National Sample Survey Organization, which is for the poverty line. So, correct answer is National Sample Survey Organization, NSSO. Poverty line in rural areas is as per 2011 and 12 prices. Remember, you may get MCQs in um, online for different years mentioned, but because it is this new book which has 11 12 prices printed so remember that so poverty line in rural area is 370 454 816 460 the answer is 4 so answer is 816 and for your reference children just read the book page 32 on the basis of these calculation for the year 2011 12 the poverty line for a person was fixed at rupees 816 per month for rural areas and rupees 1000 for urban areas which one is not the major cause of income inequality in india unequal distribution of land increase in population gap between the rich and the poor or lack of fertile land and children answer for this is lack of fertile land for the year 2011-12 again the poverty line for a person was fixed at 428 per month for rural areas and 454 for urban 328 and 554 816 and 1000 or none of the above so we just read it from the book page 32 it's rupees 816 per month for rural areas and rupees 1000 for urban areas According to World Development Report 2001, the percent of population in Nigeria below dollar one a day was, so you may not be able to get this in the recent book. The answer is 70.8. If you want to remember, just remember it is 70.8. Who is an urban, urban poor as per the year 2011-12? A person with income of rupees 454 per month or with 1000 per month or 500 per month or 450 per month? So we know the answer. It is rupees 1000 per month per person. Which industry suffered the most during colonial period? Textile, cotton, food or both cotton and textile? So if you have read the book, it is both textile and cotton which suffered the most during colonial period. Which of the following social radiators is not looked at by social scientists for poverty? Lack of access to healthcare lack of access to safe drinking water, literacy level, lack of access to see movies and to go to restaurants. So very easy one again. It's lack of access to see movies and to go to restaurants. 
about dash million people in India live in poverty 260 290 270 or 280 so the correct answer is 270 we will just refer the book also so children the number of poor in millions in 2011 and 12 rural were 217 urban 1513 combined it is 270 million so it has declined from 404 to 270 so we select 270 million people nutritional level of food energy expressed in the form of wheat consumption calories per day rice consumption per day or none of the above and children it's very easy it's calories per day and children this is the last question for the part two also i hope you have enjoyed this video as much as i have enjoyed presenting it to you please do like share and subscribe to my channel that keeps me motivated and keeps me motivated to create new content every day for you thank you for watching have a lovely day and wish you all the success and good luck for your life and exam